Oh, my beer gut looks really good on this shot. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm a huge fly fisherman. Welcome back to another episode of Huge Fly Fisherman. Hope you're having a great day. Well, it's about to get better. Today's Huge Fly Fisherman video is about mending. If you're a fly fishing guide, this video might be a little cringy for you because you're gonna hear the word mend a lot. And I know that could be traumatizing for you. I'm not talking about sewing, I'm talking about mending your fly line. It's something that we do when we're fly fishing. So what is mending and why do we do it? Mending is just manipulating your fly line on the water. In trout fishing, we're usually trying to get a drag-free drift. Drag is caused by your line and fly being in different currents of different speeds. Mending your fly line is a way to counteract the drag and prevent it from happening in the first place. A lot of times you'll throw your fly line out across the current, the fly line gets a downstream belly in it and the fly starts dragging. If I throw that belly upstream, the line stops dragging. That's mending. Drag-free drifts are very important, so mending is also very important. If you can mend well, you will catch more fish. One of the keys to mending is to mend before you need to mend. If your fly or bobber starts dragging and you mend to get it to stop dragging, you're already behind. The point of mending is to keep the drag from happening in the first place. It's preventative. Mending is always different. You're not always gonna mend upstream or downstream or whatever. It's gonna vary depending on where you're standing and what you're doing. If I'm fishing and mending and getting good drifts down here, I might have to mend completely differently if I move five feet upstream. The currents are different there. I generally mend two different ways. For close in mending, I use the rod tip to throw the line around. I'm throwing a belly of line upstream or downstream, and it's good out to a couple rod lengths. My other method is the lift, move, and set. I use this for when I'm fishing far away and I need to mend a lot of line. Rather than throwing the line, I lift my rod, move the line, and then set it down. It's important to use your whole arm and lift it up high, like this, not like this. When you're mending, don't be shy about it. Mend the whole line if you need to. If you're bobber fishing, typically you want to mend the whole line all the way to the indicator, but try not to move the indicator itself. If it moves around a little bit, that's okay. It's not the end of the world, but try to not move the indicator or your fly. I've been talking a lot about mending and trying to get a drag-free drift, but there are other applications for mending too. Like if you're streamer fishing from a boat, you make your cast, then you throw a mend upstream and start stripping your bug back to the boat. That prevents a downstream belly from forming in your fly line and gives you a more direct connection to the fly. I've also been talking about mending when your fly line is on the water. Well, the best way to mend is to put the mend into your cast with something like a reach cast. Check out this video right here about how to do a reach cast. If you put the mend into your cast, you're ahead of the game, you're gonna get a better drift, and you should catch more fish. Well, hopefully. And if you put the mend into your cast, then you can be lazy like me and not have to mend at all. So that's the basics of mending. It certainly gets more complicated, but that's what you need to know to start off. If you wanna get better at mending, there's no way to learn it except getting out there and going fishing and practicing it. And don't worry if you're not catching fish. There's a lot of other fun stuff to do while you're out there. Thanks as always for watching another Huge Fly Fisherman video. And a reminder, you can go to hugeflyfisherman.com to buy hats and shirts and all kinds of cool stuff. It helps out the channel a lot and allows me to keep making fly fishing videos for you. It's kind of fun for me, so I want to keep doing it. I'll be back next Monday with another Huge Fly Fisherman video. Until then, stay safe out on the water, mend everything you can, and stay huge. I'm drinking some beverages.